Now we've talked about frames in a general sense and that you can, you know, select multiple objects in here, say, hey, you know what, make a frame around this and then you can select the frame. The contents will move with the frame. You can double click to rename the frame. You'll also notice down here again under this little rollout menu, you have a frames section. If you click on that, you can actually go through and linearly click through your frames. Um, and the really cool thing about this is setting up presentations. And what I mean by that is you can use Miro as a way to do like a PowerPoint presentation. You literally just go in here to frames. You can say 16 by nine. That'll go ahead and give you a 16 by nine frame. And then you can fill this up. So you can go in here and say, you know what, let's let's get moody. So let's do like a dark gray frame or maybe even a black frame. We can drag our video over here. So if we wanna have a video in our presentation, we can put this in here. Uh, I can put in an image in here that'll link from the frame to an external source. I can go in here with text, give it a title, and let's do control A and then change the title text so we can see it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Of course, you can just click and drag the scale uh, text as well. So you can go and say, here's the title, here's video. And if you want to, you know, text is also really easy to work with. We can go through here and say, you see, as I'm typing, I can do control A and I can say, you know what, give me a bulleted list. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. Let's go ahead and scale that text down a little bit. And then as I continue to add more text, it'll continue to add a bullet. So you can change these on the fly. You can select all these. You can go down here and you can say, you know, make this a numbered list, make this a bulleted list, you know, rearrange what you want to. You can have elements out here. You can drop in icons. You can use shapes to frame, you know, anything available uh, to you in Miro, you can use on these presentation boards. And we'll call this our intro slide. And then we're gonna uh, select this entire frame, Alt, Shift, drag it out. Let's make some changes. We've already shown the video, we don't need that. We're on to a new type of asset here, so you know what. And if I wanna have like a repository of things I wanna pull from for my presentation, I can just leave them out here. And again, I can just Alt drag an image over here. Add a new icon. And we'll go ahead and name this frame. So when I'm doing that, you're seeing it's adding more slides down here. So if I wanna reorder these, I can say intro slide first, another title second, and now I have a presentation. If I wanna present this now, all I have to do is come down here to presentation mode, click that, and it'll go ahead and I can use these to navigate through, or I can close this down, I can use my arrow keys, and if I ever wanna go full screen, all I gotta do is click this little play button, and then I'll go into presentation mode, so literally I can go through here and just toggle through these. I can escape out of this mode, and then we're back into Miro. Uh, in fact, I have a board already set up, so I'm gonna go back into overview Miro, you can see I did a key shot presentation using this exact same thing. So here's all my key shot presentation slides. So if I want to present this, I can go through here. I can just click on this one and I'll actually cycle through. And if I want to hop into presentation mode, I can just again hit this little presentation mode. I can use my arrow keys to go through and or click the play sign to go through. And now I'm literally just cycling through my presentations uh, slides backwards and forwards escape to get out of that. And if I want to, I can even export all of this. I can go up here. Um, you can save, uh, you can download a board backup. So if you want to make sure you have recovery uh, state for this board, it's all saved in the cloud. Uh, but you know, if you want a local backup, you can download that. Export the spreadsheet, save to Google Drive, um, save it as an image, and you can also save as a PDF. So you can go ahead and export your slides as a PDF and then it'll, there you go. Here's, here's your PDF uh, of your slides here. If we want to go back to the original board, uh, well, here's another thing too. You can actually link to other boards. So if like, you know what, in my other board, uh, I want to link to this image. I'm going to say, copy link. We're going to go back to the board we were working on. And uh, you know, I got an image of those pencils. So right through here, I can select this one, right click. I want to link to control V. And now you're going to see, it's going to take me to that Miro board, uh, to that exact, it's going to open up that Miro board it's gonna shoot me uh, right to that image. So again, you can link to external websites, you can link to other areas of a board, or you can link to an entirely different board uh, as well.